That's OWC song. There is another one for the army, which we had sung for the army, but they didn't use. Then there is another one from the cry, the cry from the valley. They are very good three songs. So you can't listen to them now. Let's go. Let's proceed. So the chief of defense forces, General M K. Uh, Chief of the Air Force, Chief of the Reserve, Commander Special Forces, and all other chiefs. You know, my, my head these days is where is creation, where is creation, where is creation, so I forget. But today, it's a very interesting day for me. Because finally, my friend, my friend MK has become, he, he has the same rank with me now. <laughs> that one has been biting him all the time. But now you have it. So, how does it feel? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, I want to appreciate his service to the military for more than 20 years. But more specifically, in, in areas where he defeated me. He defeated me in one area. I don't know where is Kidega. Is Kidega around? Kidega. You remember when Mze almost took us to jail for, for misdeploying the Heribon in Guru? Onakumbuka? Na changungu yuko wapi? Ah, so the story goes like this. Sit down. For me, I'm a guerrilla commander who has fought the, all those small, small guerrilla warfare, whatever, the attacks, ambushes, surprise attacks, long marches and attacks, you know, those infantry work. Then, 97, the commanding chief tells me that he wants to form a heli bone. You know, a heli bone, a heli bone unit. So in my head, I told him, but my head is not catching up. What do you mean, heli bone? Said, people who can go ahead of the enemy and and in my head, I could not see. In my head, I couldn't sincerely understand how to, to conceptualize that. So he trains his 115 soldiers there at Guru Airfield, uh, ready for deployment, and it was his unit, supposedly his unit. So when he had gone to Kampala, there was a chance for me to occupy Clark Hills on top. So for me, I thought Heribon was to carry these soldiers and put them on top of Clark Hills and leave them there. So when Mzee came back, he said, my friend, where is my unit? I said, I have deployed it. It is at corner Clark. No, no, Clark Hills. You remember in one of, of his high command documents, he said he will never forgive me. <laughs> that he will never forgive me for not deploying the, not misdeploying his unit, the, the hairy bone. So after that, then that's when MK came in and, and conceptualized the uh, Special Forces Command. The Special Forces Command, that training, that one of combined arms, which all of you now know, but for us in our generation, Really, for us who were on the Nyayo, Fata Nyayo Pekeyak, our occasional, occasional conventional actions. So, MK, really, you have put in a lot for that, that type of, of work. Special forces, combined arms. Yesterday, I saw people. I was on TV, I saw people, they are glad 
skydiving. My heart almost went, went out completely. I waited for the paratroop, that man to, to go into a house, fortunately he maneuvered and landed. So MK, we shall always remain, uh, remember you for that contribution of that specialized training which you and your colleagues did after us. <laughs> the second one is the, the nexus, the nexus between security and development, which I beg the army to understand. I have also been talking to him, but he was not really for me. He's, he's now in, the, he was in that special forces thing. But really, the, if we don't combine the two, security and the development, you may not progress because it is the, the other side. And I want to encourage the CDF to have a conversation with those guys because those guys are, are also generals in their own rights. So I don't know the most senior general there. You have seen Pamela. She's the, one of the most senior generals. It's only because she didn't have time. She would clearly show you between, the relationship between security and development. Um, <clears throat> we, had, we had made several presentations. I didn't know which one to present, mine or the one of UPDF. Because you know these disciplined forces, you have to be very careful with the way you present yourself. So we had made a, pre a presentation, but I think it has been overtaken by events. Because now all of you are in the one room together and you are going to have lunch together. So General MK, Hongera, and, uh, but you didn't defeat my age. You remember for me, I became a four star when I was 46. And I think you have become a foster when you are 48, so you are two years a bit late. <laughs> so, Apollo um, Muhanga, the commander land forces, I think you know what to do. From what you have said, I believe you know what needs to be done in order to carry forward what General MK has been doing. To the UPDF, maintain discipline. Maintain discipline and maintain your ideological clarity. Because some of us, are, uh, um, as you can see, are getting very old. And uh, the simplest story which I can refer you to these days is uh, when you turn 60, like yesterday Uganda turned 60. Now, when you turn 60, you start evaluating what you want to do next in life. So yesterday I was thinking, Uganda is too old, is old enough to look after itself. But for me at 60, which was two years ago, I made a very serious blunder. I thought I had matured, I had known everything. So I wrote a missive, you know what they call a missive, to the command in chief. Because I thought I had turned 60, I had got through all the, all the troubles of life, now I was a stable man. So I sent him that brief. In that brief, I was trying to be a PowerPoint like expert. So I, ch I, ch I showed him the, that was 2020. Where is it? Ashaba, what's wrong? Are they inside this room or they are like in space? The guys who have the computer, are they here? 
think with the with free time with free time I know you will not agree with me but with free time let us study let us study Musevenomics let us study Musevenomics and uh, and help him to answer some of the questions like yesterday the way he talked about coffee he has been talking about coffee as if it is like rocket science. But you, I think we can work together and we, we give him solutions. So CDF, I want to thank the UPDF for giving me this traditional role of being a musee, retired. You know, retired. When you have got a ceremony like this, you pick him from Kapeka, bring him to Bombo, and he gives words of wisdom. And <laughs> like today, it is a very, very serious honor for me to see MK reach this rank, but also to appreciate him in public. Because everybody thinks I was the hero in that Bush war. But after the Bush war, Started, things started getting difficult for me. Like combined arms, like who Okiding? Okiding is there. Okiding, the artillery guy. He used to look at me and Muriza Kin way way. What a Tugana Sangat, one a forty kilometers away. Arafona Tupac, Tupac, say, well, I know, you can make a general at that time. Where's Subiri? Ota end up check. You you go and check the area after I have finished my work. Ah, the hour working uh, the one of the one of Heribon, which Kidega, the other the General Tema. Those are our generation now. So. As UPDF, I congratulate you. As Uganda, I also congratulate you because reaching 60 means it is time to evaluate ourselves. <coughs> like when I evaluated myself, I tried to. Uh, that was the time when I was being peeped like you today, here, in the same place here. <laughs> By General Ronda. Where has that come from now? <laughs> ah, Musevenomics is on your table there. I'm not being political, gentlemen. I'm telling you that the economics will determine the future of your activities. Take it as seriously as that. With those so many words, allow me to congratulate the incoming and the outgoing uh, CLF, and I wish you and your, and your families all the best. Thank you very much.